well, here it is, crazy snow that everyone's been talking about. We'll look at it, snowing sideways. I just got off the freeway because it's just not worth <clears throat> worth it right now. And just coming off the ramp, I felt a nice side wind push this truck. And we're in a pretty heavy vehicle right now. We got the truck loaded with about 2,000 pounds worth of salt. And yeah, it's uh, pretty wild out here that it's this freaking bad out. So I got my four-wheel drive on, I got my engine brake on, and this is what a lot of people will probably pick Coral with, is why you got all that stuff on? It tells you right in the manual, don't turn on your engine brake unless it's uh, dry outside. And I can tell you right now, this engine brake is not all that aggressive. So I don't mind running it when it's wet. It, and it's also tied into the ABS. By no means am I telling you guys to do that, but that's just what I do. Uh, four wheel drive, a lot of guys, again, will uh, have an issue with that because uh, there's, there's a large portion of uh, Super Duty owners, truck owners, that feel that you should only use your four wheel drive when you get stuck. I'm the opposite. I like to use mine before I get stuck and before something happens. And uh, that's really where a lot of the wear and tear for the four-wheel drive system comes into play is when you're shifting it. If you're shifting into four-wheel drive and all four wheels are not rotating at the same speed and syncing everything up, then it doesn't engage well. Sometimes it even tells you on the newer trucks like this one, if you're shifting in, it'll tell you just to let your foot off the accelerator because it needs everything needs to synchronize up and get into the same uh, rhythm so that it can shift. And uh, previous years, it would make a grinding noise if things weren't happy. And then it'd tell you to pull over and stuff like that. And that's what you never want to hear. But for me, I am pretty good at shifting mine into and out of four wheel, letting everything synchronize and get shifted in, in and out. Um, I think one of the worst things you can do is be shifting your four wheel drive while you're turning where everything binds up a little on you and then you shift it and that binding means that everything wants to be moving at a different speed your uh, left wheel your left front wheel is taking a bigger arc than your inside wheel is just barely going and then your outside wheel is going and you don't want to be shifting at that point it's not going to shift right so for me in my opinion I'd rather have to drag the truck around a turn get everything straight and then shift out instead of worrying about that and then shifting through a turn or like too close to a turn because it takes a second for the system to disengage really and I shift it like too soon and then I throw it into a turn and it's, it's still coming apart like it's the four wheel drive still coming apart and now you're chunking around through a turn with that while it's coming apart so uh, that's just I mean guys I've had no problems with my systems using them this way and I uh I work these trucks for 30, 30 hours straight at a time, a lot of times. So um, I'm the kind of guy that say, hey, if I have it, I'd rather use it more than not. So, I, yeah, I use it in the rain. This is like a rain, snow, sideways situation. And when you got this much power, it's so easy to lose it, even though the traction control takes over a lot of it. Like, it really... The traction control really is very, very good in these Fords, probably in all the other ones, but for Ford for a long time had a very, very, very good advanced track. Even my uh, 15, I think I had a 15 Super Duty, had a real good advanced track where it can apply the brakes to individual wheels and stuff like that so that it really can have a more stable ride and it can really keep the vehicle straight or in control in the situations where you think you pretty much lose it. It's not like driving like a, a 99 freaking Suburban that only had rear ABS. This thing's got the ability to uh, individually control calipers in all four corners, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure someone's going to be like, that's wrong. No. Maybe. Uh, maybe it is wrong, but sounds right. Sounds right. But uh, this is that big snowfall that everyone's talking about. 
You saw we made a turn in four-wheel drive. You saw the scoop scoop, a little bit of scoop scoop. It's gonna break the transfer case on the the front dip's gonna fall out of the ah. no. Relax. I use the truck as it's meant to be used. It's gonna work. It's gonna do what it's gotta do. And uh I don't wanna have a freaking four-wheel drive system that never got turned on. That to me that to me is a real tragedy. So, you know, it does provide some added stability. I mean your front end is in this water. You hit a puddle of water with it and instead of that front wheel being able to hydroplane and free wheel, it gives it a little bit more uh, a little bit more drag to say the least. That front wheel can't just go free spinning because it's tied to the axle, it's tied to the diff, everything's tied together. And it's Instead of just having rear wheel, now you've got front wheel and rear wheel. You got the best of all worlds. That's like saying, oh, it's not doing anything because it's raining. Well, is a front wheel drive vehicle different from a rear wheel from a rear wheel drive vehicle? They're totally different. You know, they're totally different. And having the system on is a good is a good chance to actually put some miles on that front diff. You got a you got a differential, it's full of oil everything and it never gets hot it never gets heated up it never gets up to operating temperature and it just gets thrown in gear once well all that heat helps remove moisture out of that oil that just gets stuck in there and you know the system wants to be used in my opinion the, the front diff never gets a chance to turn the system really likes to be used so i use it and you know you talk to a, a technician who you know maybe they work in a truck they work on these trucks but they don't use the truck they're probably going to say don't turn on that four wheel drive don't do it and not until you yeah because uh you know technicians can be a little bit paranoid they're going to say uh you know they're going to talk about how they would do it me i'm not a technician but you know i can work on these and i know the limitations and i tend to push those limitations just a little bit but this is the crazy storm right now it's looking like rain but we're at 34 degrees. We're teetering. We're teetering. Any colder, and we start getting into some trouble areas. That being said, the ground's so warm. I don't know. I don't. I see it as just being salt runs. At least I hope. But so far, nothing's sticking. Like nothing sticking. It's challenging because for plowing snow is what I do. You really got to be able to read the weather. And you got to look at what it's going to be doing on an hourly basis and try to make a decision. Hopefully, I make the right decision. But it's hard. It truly, truly, truly is hard. So, uh, anyway, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on, on uh, all this. Let me know how you guys are faring with this storm. Are you guys getting hit heavy or what? But uh, anyway, my name is Sean. This is DS Trucks. See you in the next video. Over and out.